113. Not too bad through Millsboro, believe it or not, for now. And good go up through Georgetown. Good on 13 from Del Mar up to Seaford and Bridgeville. Cross County 404, okay. Worcester County, good on 50 and 92 and from Ocean City, 589 through Ocean Pines. 113 from Bishopville to Berlin to Newark and Snow Hill. Good go overall, making a good go of it in Wicomico County on 50. From Willards to Pittsville to Parsonsburg, bypass around town good and 50 good to the Bay Bridge. That's your traffic for the Voice Radio Network. Dr. Brad. What's up, Phil and Jessica? I'm very well. Thank you. Good morning, Dr. Handsome Shaper. Good morning. Okay. All right. We got a little flirt going. Uh, Yep. Yep. I do. Oh, that's nice. You see what I deal with? You see what I deal with? Yeah, good way way to start the day, right? Well, hey, uh, if you ever get a chance, you know, to... uh, See Jessica's feet. She'll her foot. Her feet will look like some of the ones on your show. <laughs> oh, no, really? Oh, okay. Do you All like? Right. Well, hey, that's not something I haven't seen before. Do, do you like those kind of feet? But that's what you do for your career. So <laughs> that's my game. Yes, that's it. That's you, my game. It's you, all good. You don't. Uh, you, you don't lick or suck. You scrape. Oh my God. <laughs> Oh Bill Baker. Right, I'm just saying. Yes. Am, am I lying? <laughs> Getting dirty now. <laughs> well, look, Dr. Schaefer, again, thank you so much for tuning in. For people who don't know, uh, your TLC show, My Feet Are Killing Me, um, going in, uh, you know, premiering. Uh, it premiered on the 4th. So give us a rundown. Tell us all about it. Yeah, so it's every Wednesday uh, at 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on TLC. Uh, the show's been on for three seasons. This is the fourth, and each season has just progressively gotten better and better and better. Yeah. Uh, we've really dove into the lives of the patients, um, their backstory. And look, at the end of the day, guys, you know, you know, you can just cover up your feet with socks and shoes and kind of walk through daily life with, you know, the shame and the pain. And, you know, what we're doing on the show is we're showcasing that you don't have to do that anymore. You know, there, there's outlets for people and, you know, whether you have the worst bunions or hamatos or, you know, things growing out of the side of your feet. And although, you know, the analogies and stuff can be funny, um, you know, this is actual real life stuff that patients are dealing with and need attention. Mm-hmm. So uh, the show is finally bringing uh, to light what podiatrists can do and that patients are able to be taken care of and don't need to live with that embarrassment anymore. Now, wow. currently you're doing the show, but you also have uh, some foot and ankle practices uh, in New Jersey and New York City, right? Yes. Uh, I, I just opened up a practice on 85th and Central Park West in New York City. Okay. Um, it's called Soul Podiatry NYC. I'm, I'm super proud of it. It's a, it's a really nice boutique wellness center that we're trying to really bring you know, alternative medicine rather than those old steroid injections and different things like that. So we're doing a lot of reconstructive surgery here, like you see on the show. Um, and any anyone that needs help, I'm taking new patients. So come come check me out. I appreciate you shouting that out. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Now, you've also, uh, you know, you're, you're no stranger to TV because uh, you, were, you were a finalist on NBC's The Titan Games. Tell us about that. Oh, yeah, you know, not a lot of people talk about that. Uh, yeah, <laughs> hey, I did my homework. I did my homework. Yeah, you did do some homework. All right. Yeah, The Rock had a show, um, The Titan Games, on NBC. It was two seasons, and then COVID kind of hit. Right. But, um, yeah, it was absolutely awesome. It was kind of like American Ninja Warrior. Um, you know, we just competed against each other. And I got, like, to the final nine guys and became a Titan. So I was, I was working it. Yeah, no, absolutely. I was well, working it. That was, that was hard, man. So, so how did you get, like, from from that like how did you get like your own show like how did that all come about with tlc i don't know (laughs) (laughs) man i don't even know you gotta ask them yeah no no, honestly at at the end of the day i i was doing a lot on uh instagram social media okay really really put myself out there in my daily life with like health and wellness and being a doctor and and trying to just be real you have to be Um, on tiktok you know i think people started no, I wasn't on the TikTok game, okay. but I, I don't hate it. I don't hate it. Because, you know, there's a lot. Um, are, are you on there now? I have. Uh, I think I posted like five videos. It just, it's very time consuming. Yeah, it is. Everything. It is. Um, that takes a lot of time. Yeah, like well, I, I was going to say because, you know, there's a lot of uh, doctors and stuff on TikTok. I mean, there's a lot of doctors on TikTok that do different things oh, and yeah. things like it's you're fun. doing. So, yeah, but they're you, crushing it. You, you were doing it on IG. And somebody from TLC yes. gave you a TV deal, so that's so they reached out to Correct. you. Yeah, 
Yeah, they, they did. You know, with the success of Dr. Pimple Popper, who's on before us um, yep. on Wednesdays, she just blew up and, you know, really showed people that there was a market for, you know, this. And they just kind of thought to themselves, well, what's next? And feet were always on, like, the radar, apparently, at some of the production companies. So I think they just looked across, you know, social media and different avenues and outlets. And they found, you know, a couple doctors that they thought would be well representation for a show like this. And, you know, I was just thankful to be one of them. Oh, uh, hey, hopefully I'm doing well. Yeah, so it's for people... People who, you know, have foot problems, but, of course, for the TV show, you know, I mean, they're a little bit more outrageous, right? They come to you, and then you fix their feet. I mean, that's pretty much what what the show is. My feet are and killing me. And you've seen everything. You know, sometimes I think that I've seen everything, and then, you know, something will come walking through my door on the show, and it's something that's wow. pretty much left field. So I got to, you know, really you know, put on my thinking cap and, and figure it out. What's but, the yeah, most you know, outrageous? It, it, What's the most outrageous? Man, I have two that pop out in my mind. One, one was a guy that had something that uh, was called tree man syndrome. Um, and it looked like he was having barnacles grow out of the bottom of his feet. You should look it up. It was pretty crazy. Um, we took care of him in, in an OR surgery. Um, and his, his outcome looked really well. But it's a condition that he's going to have to treat the rest of his life. Oh, okay. Um, so... You know, we, we really helped him out there. Another guy was um, literally like Guinness Book of World Records style, like nails, calluses, different things like that. And he had, he had hemophilia on top of that. So it was like a time bomb, like taking care of everything and making sure I didn't cut him. Because when you have hemophilia, you know, you could bleed out. Can so bleed out, there's a yeah. lot of things that are dicey on the show. Um, there's a lot of conditions on the show that sometimes take a little more time in TLCs, but no pun intended. And, uh, yeah, it's just, it's an absolutely amazing show. And, you know, seeing what Sandra Lee's doing with Dr. Pimple Popper and following in her footsteps with, and again, no pun intended, I'm not even trying to be corny right now. So <laughs> it's, just, it's just a really good, it's just a really good outlet for, for people that don't, don't have a lot of hope. Yeah, well, you know, a lot, a lot of people wow. are, are kind of ashamed, too. Like, they're, they're embarrassed. And they're embarrassed, You know, yeah. to, uh, yeah. to c- go to the regular doctor and to have you there and, to, you know, even see like, oh, wait, I got the same condition as that person. You know, I mean, it, yes. it could be helping people as well. One thousand percent. And yeah. I always say it's like with your feet, you can throw on a sock and shoe. If you're going to a beach, you can throw on a water sock or whatever. Um, you know, you can really cover up that shame and pain. And, you know, who knows what people are walking down the street feeling or looking like. Yeah. You know, if you just go and get it taken care of, I mean, you kind of put that shame and embarrassment you know, out the window, Absolutely. you can understand that we, we have your back, too, and we've seen it all. Dr. Brad Schaefer, again, check out uh, his popular TLC show, My Feet Are Killing Me, and it airs tonight, right? 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on TLC. All right, very, very good. Nice. If people want to follow you on IG or Facebook or whatever, how can they do that, social media? Yes, at Dr. Bradley. Dr. Brad Schaefer, thank you so much for checking in. Uh, we really appreciate it. Thank you. Hey, thanks. I, I appreciate you having me. Thank you very much. Wake up every Thursday morning starting at 6.